Hello, Pisces. We have a connection here that allows you to discover the true you. Let's dig in to see where this goes. Hello, everyone. Welcome in. This is a Pisces tarot reading. It's a general reading, usually between two energies. Let's dig in to see what sort of theme we have for you today. Afterglow, number 49. Land gracefully. That reduces all the way down to a four from 13. Hmm. Afterglow. This actually feels very nice. What's the complementing energy, please? Let's see. Phone. There we go. Seeing the true you. Hmm. Those go together very well. Uh, 29 reduces to an 11, which is a master or mastery number. Hmm. So after the mastery hits, there's usually a universe related payout. So what's going on with Pisces? I do feel like this is the recovery after something happened. That that that's pretty clear. What's going on with Pisces, please? Star card of Aquarius underneath. Five of Pentacles. King of Cups. Page of Coins. Nine of Wands. Five of Wands. Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to read this set as you, Pisces. This is the person you're connecting with, and this is the situation. <sighs> this is a connection that was lost. Definitely lost. Hmm. I feel like you're some you're seeing something true about yourself after the fact. The afterglow isn't what you thought it would be. Big blocking of the heart space here, as this person basically struggled to tell you the truth. Hmm. So the faded connection became a burden because it didn't come to pass. Okay. Okay. So change in the physical connection. Okay. Between the two of you. This this kind of came up a little bit in Aquarius reading. This this all this dissolution could have happened via text. Via text, DM, email. Show me the five of coins, please. Show me the five of coins. Yep, two of cups. Hermit card of Virgo. Three of coins. Palace of coins. Queen of wands. Emperor. Page of wands. King of coins. Aries, Taurus, Virgo up there. So... Hmm. This is paralleling the uh, Aquarius reading a little bit. So there was a loss here of a legit two of cups. Someone went silent and started over somewhere else.
Okay, started over somewhere else. I'm getting that this is the feminine. This feminine does have an emperor or an emperor king of coins around her. I'm feeling that for the, there's a feminine where this is her father could have stepped in and safeguarded her or male family or a male family member. She does have strong masculines around her. That, that's good. That's good. That's, that's very helpful, <laughs> especially in big transitions in life. So two of cups was lost. Okay. Someone started over at their palace of coins. Okay. Um, always comes across to me as a happy home, a comfortable home and family. It's like, it could be like returning home, for example. Show me the king of cups, please. For Pisces. Oh, two there. Okay. Hmm. It feels like you actually chose to hold on to the thing that you're in, although it's draining you. Strength card of Leo next to the judgment card. Um, really? <laughs> hmm. Okay. Okay. You, you chose to stay with what you got, even though it's draining you. Got it. Nine of wands. Show me the nine of wands. Two of swords. Oh, <laughs> there's a clear indication here that, um, you Pisces, who I'm getting as the masculine, you really don't want to see the truth of what you're in. And what you blocked. Okay. Because you're you're ruling mostly from the headspace here. Your your heart space is very, very small. Which means it's not involved in the thing that you're in either. Show me the ace of cups. Show me the ace of cups, please. Okay. Knight of Wands, Knight of Cups, Sun, yeah, Tower, Tree of Light, Jesus. Ah, <laughs> oh, that sucks. All right. This was a beautiful thing. It really was. It was a beautiful thing. You two were headed towards something truly happy. It was truly, truly happy. And I'm even getting for some of you, it's like you, even though like you only were able to visit this connection in small installments, like say, for example, you said like, this is a coworker or just a, just a friend kind of thing. You revisited the connection. Even if you revisited the connection in small pieces, it was still very, very positive and warm and loving and awesome. Okay. And nothing was done to fortify it in the 3D world. Okay, so it started to break down. Okay. It turned into, it's Scorpio energy right there. It turned into something that you are left wandering. Wandering into this moon space that's quite the mystery to you on what, you, what happened. Nothing happened. So it, it broke down. That that's what happened. Okay. We have Leo, Scorpio, Pisces here on the bottom. Now they keep an eye on you. They keep an eye you or you keep an eye on them, but there there's no movement there. Show me the page of coins, please. Ace of Wands, Justice, Card of Libra, Nine of Swords, Queen of Wands. Good for you. Cross Watcher. Good for you. Um, coming up as Queen of Wands again. Um, there's this Ace of Wands is kind of like a torch, like a, that light of hope kind of thing. Um, 
basically what was illuminated for you, what was actually fair and what's not fair. And you took action accordingly. Okay, you could have started to tell this person, started to tell Pisces this and everything. And that could have resulted in the argument here. Show me the five of wands, please. Show me the five of wands. I'm feeling that there is one particular queen of wands. Like once this hit, this clarity hit, she was pissed. <laughs> Yep, because you see it for what it is. Yeah, okay. You, okay, I get what you're trying to do here. Even though this is what has been going on, you were, you still had the emotional intelligence to be like, okay, if I clear the air and we get on the same page, is there still the possibility for this uh, to stabilize in some kind of way? Okay, higher front card, card of Taurus um, with the four of wands. Um I mean, that wasn't an overly ambitious thing. That was a very practical thing of, okay, maybe we're misunderstanding each other. If I clear the air, if I clear the air, will it reset and we'll be on the same footing? Okay. Show me the truth here. Ace of Swords, show me the truth. Five of Wands again. Uh huh. So you 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 told Pisces that this is only this connection is only going so far when it can go the distance essentially. But other people are allowed to be in the way of this love, and both of you are acknowledging the Ace of Cups in the same row. So you know that there are feelings here. It it just feels like you, Cross Watcher, was the one that was gonna say it. Okay. But clearly it didn't work if the energy is between you that this dissolved. Okay. Um, and it looks like you started over somewhere else. So, okay. And they decided to say in what they're in. I'm going to go over to the extended. I'm going to look into what's going on with this Queen of Wands, our cross, cross watcher here. I'm going to see what's going on with her and her current energy, her near future and the final outcome of the connection between you in this lifetime. So if you're interested in any of that information, along with messages from Spirit about the connection at this point in time, messages between you as well as timing, feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below, and I'll see you guys over there. Bye. Ooh.